So in this second example, we're still using our tangent ratios. We're using TOA, where tan of theta equals opposite over adjacent. In this first example, we're given angle C, so we're going to take tangent of angle C, so tangent of 61 degrees, which is going to equal the opposite leg, 22, over the adjacent leg, x. What you're going to want to do is plug tan of 61 into your calculator. One thing you do want to make sure is that your mode is in degrees. The way you do this is your calculator should have a mode button. Go ahead and hit the mode button. Once you do that, you can scroll down. There should be the option of either radians or degrees. You're going to want to highlight, make sure your cursor is on degrees, hit enter. Once you have that, you can go ahead and quit back to your main screen. If we're in degrees and we type in tan of 61, we should find approximately 1.804. So tan of 61 is 1.804. This equals 22 over x. We then can multiply both sides by x. We get 1.084x equals 22. To solve for x, we can divide by 1.804. We get x is a approximately 22 over 1.804, which is 12.195. And there's our value for our missing side x. Let's look at the second example now. We'll make a little bit of room down here. So here we found x is 12.195. Okay, with our second example, again we're given angle C. We know the tan of 56 degrees is going to be the opposite, that's x, over the adjacent leg, that's our 13. You can type tan of 56 into your calculator. Should be about 1.48. Or you can keep it just as tan 56 if you want to and realize that if we multiply both sides by 13, we get x equals 13 times tan 56. And then just plug that entire equation, 13 times tan 56, into your calculator. We should end up with 19.273. Thus, x equals 19.273 in this example. And that's it. So the quick summary. We found that in a right triangle with theta and opposite and adjacent legs, tan of theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. This is where we get the TOA of SOCA TOA. We'll talk about the SO and the CA in the next section. We can use this either to just find out what tangent of an angle is if we're given the two sides, or we can use it to solve for a missing side, as we did in example two. So in example one, we were looking for the actual values of tan B and tan C. We use the sides to determine that. Or we can use our calculators to find a missing side. Regardless, what you need to know is tangent is opposite over adjacent. Be able to identify those opposite and adjacent legs.